على الآيات والذكر وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان مدرسة تنير مآثر الفكر على الآيات والذكر وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان مدرسة تنير مآثر الفكر هنا رمضان مفتاح ودرب جاد بالخير يعانقنا فيمنحنا جمالا مشرقا يسري جمالا مشرقا يسري تراويح ومغفرة تجود عليك بالأجر وصوم فيه مرحمة به الحسنات كالقطر به الحسنات كالقطر على الآيات والذكر وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان مدرسة تنير مآثر الفكر على الآيات والذكر وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان مدرسة تنير مآثر الفكر أيا رمضان يا شغفي من الإمساك للفطر ويا من ضم لي روحي فتاهت فيه كالسحر فتاهت فيه كالسحر أيا رمضان يا شغفي من الإمساك للفطر ويا من ضم لي روحي فتاهت فيه كالسحر فتاهت فيه كالسحر سنحيا فيك يا غمرنا كتاب الله بالذكر سنحيا فيك يا غمرنا كتاب الله بالذكر كتاب الله كتاب الله Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to our favorite Ramadan series edition. Ramadan Pills with Kedir Ibrahim. So, to the first question on this episode. How sick do you have to be to skip fasting? A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim wa salatu wa salam ala rasulullah Muhammad al-Amin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassiri li amri wa hlul ukhdatan min lisani yafbahu qawli So the question how ill can someone be to skip fasting? A person who is ill, which maybe fasting would cause harm to the body, to his or her body, or increase the illness, or hinder the recovery of the illness, then this person is excused from fasting. Although it's going to pay back after Ramadan, when after the illness, when it's fine. But these can only be determined by a doctor. So you have to see a doctor. And so we don't assume some illness to ourselves. Because we know that fasting do cause some discomfort to us. So we might mistake them for illness. No, just little cough or just a little fever shouldn't stop you from fasting because fasting does not affect it so we should see a doctor determine the kind of illness if we can fast or we cannot fast hope this answers the question wow Masha Allah. 
Thank you for that brief and beautiful answer. Indeed Allah does not burden a soul more than it can bear. The next question for you brother Kedir Ibrahim. What if someone has a chronic illness or is really old? Are they supposed to fast in such condition? So what if someone has a chronic illness or is really old? This person who has a chronic illness or a very old person is excused from fasting. Because at, with the situation, he or she cannot fast. But he or she would have to feed one person every day of fasting, averagely, average meal two times in a day, so we get the same reward of the person fasting. So every day of the Ramadan, you'll have to feed a person an average meal of twice in a day to cover up. And with this, you got no issues with the fasting. Hope this answers the question. Oh, oh.